The first Rosebud County Sheriff was appointed in 1901. Just inside the office doors here is an entire display case of the department's history. And they've got a new item to add to it. This badge that they're estimating is over 100 years old and how it got here is quite the story. I just kind of started scanning this on Wednesday night when I received this. Meet Rosebud County Under Sheriff Scott McDermott. He started looking at this collage of Old County Sheriffs last week because of an email he received back in February. It was pretty surprising to you know see somebody take the initiative to reach out like that. The email came from Oklahoma Highway Patrol Trooper Trey Sheets, who had come upon a unique item. My mother and father were in Amarillo, Texas at a flea market at the Civic Center. They went in and they, they found a box and they bought the box. And in the corner of this box, they found that badge. The badge is still in remarkably good shape with Deputy Sheriff and Rosebud County, Montana, all visible. Sheets' parents figured he would want it, given his line of work. I was a deputy sheriff for five years in Guyman, Texas County, Oklahoma. And then I joined the Highway Patrol in 2002. So I've got over 25 years of law enforcement. So he understood what this badge could mean to its original home. You just understand maybe on a different level the significance of something like that to the agency. He offered to pay for it. And I was like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, uh, I said it'll be a donation to y'all's department because it's a part of y'all's history. The badge was not only sent back to Rosebud County, but the two traded some patches and challenge coins, welcome additions to the Rosebud department's collection. Then McDermott got to work trying to trace the badge's history. Notice that uh, Sheriff John Vanderpower has a similar badge there, six point with the balls on the end. John Vanderpower was the Rosebud County Sheriff in 1914, like meaning this size. one could be over 100 years old. It'll soon live in the front display case as they continue to work on its heritage. The best possible outcome? Finding a personal connection. Man, if they could get it to a family member that, you know, they've been looking for that badge, that would be awesome, you know. That would be amazing for me. In Forsyth, Casey Conlon, MTN News.